Today I've got a very sweet and surprisingly easy dried flower wreath tutorial for you. To me this wreath is a little bit boho. You could even do fewer flowers and make it more on the minimalistic side. I also think just to throw in a couple of extra styles in there that it actually really suits a rustic farmhouse kind of look as well. I'm Lauren from avisualmerriment.com and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this dried flower wreath right now. Let's get into the supply list. So for the supplies, you're going to need a hoop. The one that I'm using is 25 centimetres, which is just shy of 10 inches. You'll also need a selection of dried flowers, some tweezers, scissors, uh, some jute twine or string plus some craft glue. Now I do a lot of kids crafts so I'm using Elmer's school glue. The important thing here is that your glue dries clear. Okay so let's get into it. We're going to start by attaching the twine to the hoop. Begin by tying a knot to the hoop. When we begin wrapping our twine around, we're going to hold the tail so that it's hidden. So don't worry about that at this point. At the moment, I'm just guessing how much twine I want to wrap and how thick I'd like it to be. Therefore, whereabouts it's actually going to be sitting on the hoop. To secure the knot, just put a dob of glue where it's going to sit. Now holding it firmly, we're going to begin wrapping the twine. At the other side here with the knot, we're going to make sure that we keep that tail hidden on the inside as well. The twine is going to keep moving and trying to push back up so just be patient and keep pushing it back down and making sure that as you're wrapping you're pulling the twine nice and firm and taut. I'm going to keep going with this and then as I get towards the end I'll come back and show you what happens next. So I'm getting close to the end here. Just wrap it as much as you find visually appealing and what you like most. You might want to have less than I have or you might want to make it thicker. Okay, so we're going to finish this one here, I think. And this is where my camera started playing up. But not to worry, we didn't miss too much. Once you've finished wrapping your twine around the hoop, you simply finish it off by tying a double knot in the end, then push the tail inside the twine to hide it and trim it off at the end if it's still poking out. Then I would simply finish off by dabbing another bit of glue on that knot. Next, flip your hoop over and just apply a small amount of glue down the sides of the twine just to secure them a little bit better. Attach some string to the top so that you can hang it. Loop it around the hoop and pull it through and then at the other end, tie it and cut it off. I haven't exactly measured how long this piece of string is. I've just gone by eye. So think about where you want to hang your wreath and that'll determine how long your hanging twine will be. I have all of my dried flowers and branches over here. Some of them look a little on the big side for this particular hoop. So keep that in mind, depending on the size of your hoop, some flowers and branches are going to look better than others. To help with this, we're going to be using tweezers and scissors. We will get into this and see how we go with them. 
I'm going to begin by using some of the bigger branches first. I'm going to trim some of the leaves off the branches, but you could always leave them there if you wanted to. It will probably make it easier to thread them through the twine if you don't have too many big bulky leaves on the stems. Begin by carefully inserting the stem through several rows of twine. I found that I didn't need tweezers for the entire project, but they did come in handy at times. I'm not too worried about the exact placement of the twigs or where they sit within the twine. You could, of course, put all of your branches or twigs behind the same lengths of twine. going to try these pretty little purple ones next. It's a little bit messy but that's okay. It's not creative unless there's mess, right? the placement too even or symmetrical. I want the flowers and the, the branches to be placed in a somewhat disorganized way, which is definitely not my personality. <laughs> but of course you can do it in, in any way that you like. You can place them more evenly if that's the look that you want to go for. It's up to you whether or not you want to trim any of the stems. I've done a couple as I went along, but I think I'm going to leave most of them as they are now. This might look a little bit too crowded for your liking. You can of course make it more minimal by putting fewer flowers in or smaller flowers and branches. all done and very easy. You could actually attach glue to the stems if you like or you could just leave them as they are and you could change them out and put in different colours and different types of flowers. They sit in there quite well without glue so I'm not going to worry about it. I hope you got some wonderful inspiration from this tutorial. I certainly had a great time making it. If you like this wreath tutorial, don't forget to like the video and you're welcome to pop a comment below. If you wanna see more from me, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.